everybody. Well, this pr this video started out as a video to show you how to replace your HP02 print cartridges and a PhotoSmart 8250 printer, but we ended up turning it into the perfect video for showing you how to erase or get past any print cartridge errors that you may be receiving on your PhotoSmart printer. Uh, specifically, this time we were able to get past the uh, print cartridge has expired error and all we're going to do is simply clean the receptors on the ink cartridges very thoroughly and place them right back into the printer. And keep in mind this won't work 100% of the time but I'd say in my experience this works maybe 25 to 30% of the time so I'd say it's a good first or second step into trying to erase any cartridge errors you're getting. Also keep in mind this doesn't only work for this specific error that I'm getting this works for many other types of errors as well. I'm going to do the same thing with every single one of these six different ink cartridges. You know, let's start with black all over here, yellow, light blue, cyan, pink, magenta. You're gonna pull, let's grab my rag here real quick. Because I like to make sure that when I'm putting in new ink cartridges, the, my, the micro trip on them is completely clean. So I don't get any random errors that I shouldn't be getting. So see it. So let's pretend this was a brand new ink cartridge. As you can see, this one is expired in 2011. <laughs> so yeah, it's, I think the printer's actually right for once. HP printer is actually giving us the right error for once. Amazing, I know. Anyways, I'll dab. <clears throat> so guys, I, I like using this cleaning solution that I make by hand. Um, it's seven parts uh, water, well, hot water, two parts isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol, 70%. Um, and one part Windex. And it's Windex with ammonia. Not the uh, safe for kids uh, Windex. So I'll just take my well, let's get a clean part of this. I'll just take like a washcloth rag, dip a little bit in here. Take my cartridge, rub the microchip a little bit. I'm sure any of you who have owned an HP have done this plenty of times. There's still like a good amount of ink left in this guy. So it kind of sucks that HP gives you that error because this technically would work still if HP would just let us use it. <laughs> but anyways, then once you've got that all cleaned off, stick it in exactly how you would think. Just with the HP facing the right direction. If you're looking at it, you could read the HP. It's not upside down or left to right or anything. Put it, slide it in, the HP side out, and just clip it back in there. Do the same thing for every one of these. Here's the pink color. I'm just rubbing it a little bit with the rubbing alcohol. Actually, let's get some more on here. Let's not get some magenta in the pink. Rub that off a little bit. And then put it in. Again, we're pretending these are new cartridges. I'm going to put it in with the HP facing out. Just straight up and down like you could read it. Where it says HP. And then take a blue. Pop this guy out. Just make sure this guy is uh, nice and clean on the microchip. I also like to, yeah, see, I can see that there's a little hair right in there. That's why I like to kind of rub that ink part too, even though you will get blue ink on your rag, as you can see here. That's why you just want to use a crappy rag that you don't need. Put it back. The HP facing up just so you can read it, you know. So it's not upside down. The HP is straight up and down, left to right. Let's move on to the light blue part of this rag here and just make sure there's no ink or anything on the microchip there and like rubbing the ink part again get 
this one's like completely empty or dried up because it's so old. So the HP, this reading left, uh, yeah, left to right, straight up and down, HP. Put it in there and just clamp it in. You just have to close these shut. They take a little bit of force sometimes. There's a spring on them so you can feel the force. Um, but they'll, as long as you put it in correctly, they'll go in just fine. Now here's the yellow. I'm going to take our cloth and rub it a little bit off on there. Make sure there's no ink on here. We should be good to go. Put that yellow in. Close that guy on it. Last one is our black. The big guy. Um, so just make sure that this guy doesn't have any crud on him. And that there's no black ink seeping out. And then put it back the same way as the others with the HP reading from left to right, up and down. So you can read the HP. And there we go, folks. That's it. That's all she wrote. And the funny thing about this, just to show you how big of a difference it makes just cleaning off the receptors there, the microchips. This wasn't working before. I couldn't get these ink cartridges to work at all. It would just give me an error saying that they're expired. And now look, our screen's completely different. It's showing that there's ink in every single ink cartridge, even though there's barely any left. But it's reading every single ink cartridge now <laughs> and is ready to print those ink cartridges. So... You can really clear up a lot of errors, a lot of problems with your printer just by cleaning off those microchips and those uh, receptors. So it's a good idea to try always if you're having problems. And there we go. We fixed. We went from the beginning video, which was filmed before this, of having a paper jam with no paper jamming it, to then a problem with the ink cartridges being expired, which we just cleaned them off, put them back in. And now we have a working HP PhotoSmart. Thank you.